Hey all, so let's go through everything we got from Ultimate Hunting this week. Now one of the first things we got was this model of the helmeted guinea fowl. I cannot express how excited I am to see this. This model looks absolutely fantastic and the guinea fowl is truly iconic when it comes to Southern Africa. The detail in this model far exceeds my expectations. It looks incredible. From the detail on the feet and the legs, the body shape, all the way through to the head, I am absolutely blown away this is incredible i cannot wait to see the finished model of this guinea fowl and to see these things running around in a flock on the african map is definitely going to be something i'm looking forward to so ultimate hunting 10 out of 10 on your model well done then we got this the ultimate hunting gear guide for the osteli tx5 now let's read through it osteli tx5 category firearm type shotgun calibers 12 gauge 16 gauge, 20 gauge, customization, sight and choke. Trivia, the Osteli TX5 is a versatile over under shotgun with a durable steel receiver and customizable barrel length with swappable chokes. Its high post ventilated rib and mechanical trigger system provide consistent and smooth shooting, ideal for upland and waterfowl hunting. Now, I'm not a massive shotgun fan because I'm not big into bird hunting. Personal preference, I know. But I've always liked the look of an over under shotgun. And this one looks insane. The detail on this is incredible. I love the look of the cheek pad on the stock. I really like the sight rail. And then obviously the muzzle with those chokes in the front. Oh my word. I just want one of these up on my wall. Even if I'm never going to use a shotgun, I just hope there's a way for us to mount weapons and display them in the game because I need this thing displayed. Holy smokes. And I've got to say, Ultimate Hunting is quite clever with the small trend they've got going because they showed us the guinea fowl and now they're showing us a shotgun. So, very well played. And then we got this. It's a look at the seating arrangement of the 4x4 that they showed us last week. And they had a small caption on their post asking, can you guess how many people can fit in here? Now having a quick look at this, I would say nine. But this does bring up one point from last week's video. I said that it's going to be a problem to load animals into the back of this. And I would say with the seating arrangement and the fact that you've got padded seats in the back, yes, it's not going to be optimal for loading animals, which gives me the suspicion that we might be looking at a trailer that we have to tow so as to be able to load animals. However, seeing as they've gone to the lengths of showing us a seating plan is really cool. That means that not everyone's going to be sitting in the front passenger seat when they jump in. Each person will have a seat and I've got to admit it really does look good. But folks, that's everything we got this week. Now let me know down in the comments what you think. What do you think of the vehicle's seating arrangement? What do you think of the over under shotgun? And most importantly, what do you think of that guinea fowl model? Thank you so very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.